as the third umpire today. Slow and every this time with the ops break action. And we've seen some better disguise than that over the years. We talked about Admiral Rizak's slow ball, but uh, this one not quite so well concealed. Now what uh, on earth has happened here? Now I've hardly ever seen Raoul Dravid raise his voice or heard Raoul Dravid raise his voice. Something has triggered that. It's just a collision. What well, happens in cricket all the time? And in comes the uh, referee. So, rightly so. Rahul Dravid must have been expecting it after that little confrontation. Very first time. And back to the shot stop. I reckon. Should get two, if not more. Watson just having a chat to the umpire. Gambier just with argy bargy between the. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, words exchanged. The battle's on. I think Watson told him something when he when he went past him. And that's what sparked off uh, the reaction from Gambir. As he goes past him, there's a... He sticks his arm out, and Gambir says, OK, even I have an arm that I can stick out. So the plan was to avoid confrontation, but after Pakistan's Isamam Ulak, dressed all in white, left the field to beat a fan with his own megaphone after the fan was apparently slamming him and his family relentlessly. The bat-wielding Ulak was suspended for two matches. He never hit anyone else. The fan let off in cuffs. And by the way, India leads the best of five friendship series 2-0. They play again on Wednesday. Bowling. Best has the last laugh. Oh no, oh no, this is crossing the line here. Physical contact, and Malik did not take too kindly to whatever was said from Tino. And that is a match referee job. Both players there, a bit hot under the collar. Wow, wow. Tino's having the last word, literally and otherwise. react Malik you cannot touch you cannot touch it's a good line Malik went too far across looking to exploit short fine leg but it's what happened after yeah you can't do that and there's a line all cricketers talk about a line and it's almost an imaginary line but I would imagine physical contact is crossing it 128 for two Tino Best. Let's have a look at this one. This was the one that was given wide. Now, we want to get some footage of Tino here. This is when it started. It was it was the other view we had of what Tino Best said that, that bothered me the most. Because it was... Yeah, it was pretty low. This is chances for a while, but as I mentioned, the placement was good. And four valuable runs to New Zealand. So six off the over. A good result here as a single to Scott Styrus. A better result is another boundary if he can get it. And he can. 
Not happy, Mitchell Johnson. Not happy. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. 2.44 for seven. The two is on. Well, face to face, Scotty Styrus and Mitchell Johnson. So, Mitchell Johnson's gone for back to back boundaries. Now, I'm not sure whether there was anything said after this. Scotty Styrus might have said, How do you like that? That was the ball before. Bit of contact. And then this is the second boundary. Lane, a, a similar spot. Ryan Harris couldn't track it down. And then a bit of glove pointing and a bit of, well, helmet to forehead almost looked like. Well, I haven't seen this for a long time. Oh! I'm not quite sure he'd be wanting to headbutt a helmet. But the Brad had him right in the middle of it, straight away. And I'm not quite sure whether they clashed running between the wickets and in terms of the follow-through. It seemed to me as if it was what it, what it was about. I've got a right to run there and I've got a right to be there myself. Schmal and the keeper, particularly Cameron Akmal, against Gautam Gambir. There we go. And he's convinced something has happened. Then during the drinks break, words were exchanged. Umpires had to intervene. Donies had to pull Gambir aside. Chat continued. And Billy Bowden. And Billy Bowden. He's jumped in there and uh, just settled matters. Obviously the top hand can't grip properly. It's the, the guiding hand. A bit of a mix up here. Solomon Ben. He was putting the hip and shoulder in. <laughs> Mitchell Johnson is not the shortest and there's a little bit of a go. Ben's never far from an incident. And yeah, it's good that the Australians are finally going to dish something back to him. He, he's been standing close and invading personal space and a few players and always in on the action so that's fine brad Haddon, get out of his way and let him run well if you can see what actually happened in the in the run Sullivan bench quite entitled to go and try and field the ball at times players will come together when a situation like that happens. I think it depends on how it's handled afterwards. Watch your here, big man. Watch yourself on me, big here. Watch me. Don't about me, man. Well, he's got to get on with it here. Sullivan Ben has uh, had enough to say. Well, I think you're right, Tubby. He was entitled to go straight for the ball. A batsman was in the way. That was Mitchell Johnson, and that happens. Good delivery. At times the bounce that he gets hurts him. Look to be in between uh, bat, thigh guard, and misses the top of the stumps. Great delivery. This is. Let's have a look at what Brad Haddon might have done. That's Mitchell Johnson having the collision. So both men pretty entitled to do that. They're a little bit of jersey tugging and uh, obstruction, and then Haddon reacted straight away. Listen. Stay out of his way. And that's what Suleiman Ben took offence to, the, the bat pointing by the sound of the conversation from there on. Boy, a bit of spice here at the Wacker. Five for job at Meandad's line and we very nearly had ourselves a fight on the ground. Job at Meandad prepared to go around him. Lily moving across into his way. Now remember Job at Meandad's out of his crease there. Desperate Lily to dance. Watch here as Lily shows us a bit of the sidestep shuffle. And as you can see, he there aiming a kick at uh, Job at Meandad and uh, Meandad aiming to 